This is Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com, and I'm here to talk about the website PriceJot.com. PriceJot allows you to track Amazon product history and price history, so that way you could see if a product has been on sale recently or has a trend that looks like it may go on sale soon. You can also sign up for alerts and get notified if a product you're looking for reaches a certain price, so that way you know to buy it at that price because it's on sale. So the first thing you want to do is go to PriceJot.com. Here on the home page, right off the bat, they have several categories, such as top price drop, popular products, popular categories, weekly promotions, etc. So if you look, for example, the top price drop, you'll see real quick at a glance, it'll show you the products that have the most price drop recently. This would be an example of this Rubbermaid that was $105 and now is $87, and they basically show you the percent off, 17% off. Right now, this product is 40% off. Uh, pretty good app. So if you're just looking to browse to see what went on sale recently or what prices recently dropped, you can easily take the time to browse the top price drop. You can also go and look at popular products and look at each individual product trend. Um, for example, if I look at the Transcend 32 gigabyte class 10 SD flash card, and I want to take a look at that product, you can see it's currently $16.99 on Amazon, and you could scroll down and see price history. The price history chart shows, and you can see it goes for the one year by default, but you could look at the past week or the past month, but you could see how the price has dropped up and down. You can see in June, the product actually went on sale and was as low as $15.51 at one point in June, but now it's hovering right around $16.99 as a standard price. Now, this price has been relatively flat and only varies by up and down, but let's say I wanted to get an alert, say, if this product ever goes down to $15 again or, or below $15, I want to know about it. You would just simply uh, enter your desired price and then click on Start Tracking, and then it would allow you to track your product. It didn't ask me for any information because I registered. But if you don't register, let me log out and show you when you do the same tracking. You don't have to register for the site to tracking, although it's easier because then you don't have to enter information each and every time. So let's see what it looks like to just find a product that you might be interested in looking for and set up your own custom price watch. Now I'll choose a product that has a higher dollar value because you tend to see more fluctuations. Um, when I showed the SD card, you could see there was only like a $1 price up and down. So let's pick something that has a relatively decent value that might be a product that's fluxed a lot over the last year. Typically new products will flux a lot. So I'm going to look for just a brand that I happen to buy stuff on, like let's say Anchor. Um, I buy a lot of their external batteries and things like that. So let's look at the second generation Astro here. So you can see the price right now is $25.99 currently on Amazon. It gives you a lot of details of it, some samples of the product reviews. Let's look at down here at the price chart. You can see at the high water mark in May, this was $35.99. And you can see it's down to $25.99 currently. And you can kind of see the trend, how it goes downhill like that. This probably is about as low as this price is going to go. Uh, so I would probably say not probably not worth building an alert on this product. You can actually look at the price history and see how the current price is $25.99, the high was $35.99, the lowest was $25.85, so it's never been lower than that, which is only like 14 cents lower. The average is $30. So, and based on the pri recent price changes, I would say probably not a reason to create an alert on this product specifically because it's fluctuated so much. So let's test out another product like the Razer Naga mouse that I was looking at earlier and see if we got something with a price increase. So I, you can see the little um, graph down here. If you see something that shows a, a recent price increase, that probably means it just recently went off sale. So this Razer mouse, which is $62.99 right now, is a good example. So if you look down at the price history here, you can see this mouse is relatively flat lined for a few months and then there was a you know price drop by about ten dollars and then at its lowest it was fifty three ninety nine went back off sale again came back down again is pretty is pretty steady for a while then in very recently it went down to forty seven ninety eight on nine five but now it's back up to sixty seven ninety nine so you see how this product had a had a really low watermark relatively recently this would give me um, indication that this product is going to come down again so I don't know if I'd want to buy this product right now at $66.95, being the fact that if I see this trend, it's had a lot of dips, and it has a dip recently. I'm probably going to say this product will probably come back down again into the $50 range soon. So I'm going to go here and put my desired price of $50. Let's say, uh, let's see what's the watermark here, 50, 47, 52. Uh, it looks like 52 is probably a good average. So let's say I want to see this price is $53 or less, right? Savings of about $10. 
Now, I didn't register for account, and you don't have to to do price watchers uh, or trend histories and alerts. So you have to type in your email. So I'm going to type in my email. I'm going to type in my Twitter. And then I'm going to click Start Tracking, and you'll get a notification of success. Again, if you register, you won't have to do that extra step of putting in your email and Twitter. So if you want to follow a lot of products, you might as well register for the site so that you don't have to fill in information over and over again. So then what you're going to do is it's going to monitor. Now I did a simple sample just for the same day review just to see what it looks like and I'm going to show you what came through. So I was monitoring a different uh, Razor Naga mouse and I actually made the price the same price it was so that it deliberately would trigger an email. So you get an email from Price Jot that says the Amazon price is zero below your target price although it will actually show you what the price is if it went to the same price or lower it will show you the difference and it basically gives you a quick history of the price trend and what the price is now. And you can see it triggered an email. I also saw that it triggered an alert on Twitter. And this comes in as a reply, not a direct message, because most people don't pay attention to direct messages anymore on Twitter. So you can see price shot hit me up with that Dragon Blogger, now $89.99. The price has fallen to your below, uh, below your desired price, alerting you that the product, you basically reached the price point you wanted or lower. And then you could basically go check it out and see if you want to buy it at a time or continue you know, with, with your monitor there. So. Again, price shot here, pretty nice way to follow trends and price history of a product. You can quickly see a graph to see if a product is at the lowest point it's been in a while, and therefore it's worth buying right now at that price. Or if you see it's at the high price point, and you see recently it was at a lower price or, or tends to go to a lower price periodically, it might be worth setting up an alert for so that you get the best price for that product you're buying on Amazon. Once again, this is a showcase of PriceShot.com. Thank you for watching.